We're doing the Venom cover. Um, I start to try to figure out what, <laughs> uh, sorry. That's getting picked up, right? Now drop that beat. Back when I was a kid, I would tell my parents, like, I wanted to be a comic artist. My mom wanted to be a painter when she grew up. And then my dad, his aspiration was always to do something with music. We grew up with them just kind of like supporting what we wanted to do because I think they weren't able to do those things. I drew this painting in kindergarten and for some reason the teacher saw something in it. So she told my parents to support and like embrace this art thing because I think Mike has this talent. I went to a special art school in high school, but then I got kicked out in grade nine. I'm not sure if you guys, <laughs> you know when you're in high school you just have a a rebellious attitude or you're doing other things. I was breakdancing at the time and that was like a serious passion of mine. We were traveling and doing competitions and battles and all that stuff. It's weird because you know when you go to high school and you talk to your counselor and they're kind of like, what do you want to do? I was like, yeah, I want to do art because that's all I really knew what to do aside from dancing. Eventually I went to college and I bumped into one of my friends and he was drawing and I just looked at it and I was like, I could do that, right? <laughs> So I started drawing with them and I'm like, I kind of started feeling that passion again for comics. For the Venom cover, if I like, if got, I got to do like a variant cover. First step is the ideas, the sketch ideas. What I'll do is I'll tend to look at the character and I'll try to figure out what that character is about, right? So for Venom, the main thing I notice is his tongue is like really, really long. So I was trying to figure something out that could work with like the tongue. And from there, like ideas just start to form. It's a dream and it's kind of surreal just cause growing up as a kid, like you reading all these Marvel books. And I remember like when they started to first promote the Young Guns, I was just like, man, these are the guys that I want to be. Being that now it's, you know, it's just surreal. It's weird cause like for the most <laughs> Chase, where are you? Okay, can you go downstairs? Because we're doing an interview. When we were growing up, my dad would draw for us. So whenever he drew a dog and I'd be like really impressed by it, I'd want to be as good as my dad. And so I do that now with my kids. The household's pretty creative. Working from home, they see me drawing too. So they, I think it's almost like a natural thing for them to do what I do. It's definitely a proud moment seeing my son dancing and and doing it on his own actually, because I never really told him or forced him to do it. He just started doing it and I was like, whoa, okay, cool, maybe it's in him, maybe it's in his blood or something. My dad's been posing for me ever since I've been working on comics, I guess. Like, his second job was being a, a Marvel model, basically. I would use him almost like a mannequin. Sometimes he would just stand there and I would just kind of move his arms but he was a sport about it and he was up for it. He never complained. I never really thought about it, like about the fact that my dad is still there supporting what I do. I guess it's what I grew up with and what I was taught is how I'll go about with my kids.